Okay, Alone in the Dark. Uh, I believe this is the second Uva Ball movie I've had to do on this. Uh, I actually watched this a good, good while ago, and I've just been meaning to do this video for quite some time. Uh, this is a very interesting bad movie. It's very boring and very Uva Ball-ish. Uh, but honestly, now that I've watched a lot of these other movies on the list, I can totally handle a Uva Ball movie much easier than I could towards the beginning of this list. Um... I think the biggest thing I want to point out in this one, yeah, there's a lot of bad acting, and Christian Slater's really bad, and there's a lot of bad dialogue, as you would expect, and cheesy effects, but in particular, the thing that makes this movie just nearly unwatchable, but also kind of clever, is this movie is just ruined, and also made by the lighting. Um, as I've covered in the House of the Dead review, Yuva Bull loves using these really horrible-looking, like, flashes for instead of like bullets out of guns he does them in post-production and probably photoshop or something uh it looks really bad but it really stands out in this movie because the movie rarely takes place in any kind of sunlight it is almost always in the dark uh which you know alone in the dark uh, yeah um so yeah the, I think the one thing why I say that's kind of clever is because this, there's a lot of CGI in this movie. It's very CGI heavy. There are a lot of like supernatural monsters that come out of the dark to hurt people. And because there's not a whole lot of light shed on them, it, it makes up for any issues. Uh, the best example I can say of this is Jurassic Park. If you go back and look at that, uh, a lot of the you know dinosaurs they're using, uh, if they're put into the light, a lot of their flaws really show up much more. If you look at sort of the scene where the T-Rex is outside hunting the little gazelle creatures. I don't remember, Galapasaurus or something like that? I don't know, I used to know dinosaurs much better than I do now. Uh, so when they're outside in the uh, in the sun, you can tell that there's a lot of flaws and doesn't look as realistic. But if you compare that with the scenes where uh, the dinosaurs are in the dark, they, you know, there's not as much light to reveal a lot of the flaws, so it can kind of camouflage itself. Alone in the Dark takes that all the way up to 11. They just make it to where you can't see anything and there's just vague motion on the screen, combined with the, the fake flashes of the guns. Uh, so most of this movie is just like having somebody with a flash camera in front of you while you're standing in the dark. And, you know, it's basically just a, 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 like a, a rave. It's strobe lights for most of the movie. And when it isn't doing that, it's just dumb and bad. Uh... As I mentioned in House of the Dead, Uva Bowl has a habit of ripping things off of other movies. Uh, in House of the Dead, I mentioned that there is a scene that he rips off directly from Lord of the Rings for no reason at all. Uh, in this, the ending of this movie, which is bad, uh, basically they arrive to the surface and everybody's gone and everything's evacuated. And then they pull this thing that actually is an imitation of the end of, I believe, Evil Dead 1. It might have been Evil Dead 2, or they might have done it in both. And basically, he's wandering around and everything's empty, and then he turns around and the camera's panning in really, really fast, as if something is, like, chasing him down. Uh, it was great in Evil Dead. Evil Dead used a lot of like creative shots and did some really cool things. In this, it was just wasn't really necessary, and it was just so clearly a blatant ripoff. Uh, kind of like the ending of House of the Dead did that reanimator thing. Not only did they rip off something off, but they ripped it off in a way that was unnecessary and not particularly relevant for the situation. It worked better here than it did in the ending of uh, House of the Dead, I suppose. But yeah, it just didn't come off well. Uh, also, Christian Slater as your leading man just didn't get to work. Uh, he does a better job here than I would have expected, but in general, yeah, that's not a that's not a formula you want to stick to. Uh, I'm trying to remember who else is even in this movie. It's mostly I've actually seen this movie a few times now. I, I think I saw it on Sci-Fi back in the day, and uh, I, I did watch it semi recently. It just isn't. I don't know. This is one of those movies that's hard to enjoy. It's just kind of mediocre, and as with any Uva Bowl movie, he's just kind of incompetent all around. 
that said, this is not as bad of a movie as, like, uh, zombie... Oh, what the hell was it? That Uli Lummel zombie movie I watched recently, Zombie Nation, uh, is sort of like, you've a bulb at worse, and that's much harder to watch than this. Also, uh, another review that I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up before or after this, I guess you should do it before, uh, The Maze, uh, which is, uh, Dark Harvest 2, is way worse than this. This is actually, compared to a lot of the movies I've been watching lately, is not that bad. It is very bad by comparison to any other kind of movie, but in the realm of bad movies, it both isn't quite bad enough to be, like, a spectacle of bad, and isn't quite, like, funny enough, or there's not enough entertainment value for it to be sort of a, a standard bearer of, like, bad movie. Uh, it's just, you know, there are better things to pick. I actually think House of the Dead is a, is a better silly B-movie watch than this, just because there's things like uh, uh, Clint Howard and things like that mixed up in there. And there's more sort of what the hell's going on moments, whereas this feels more like the style is something kind of like Aliens or Alien, and like in that there's, you know, the atmosphere. They're trying to build an atmosphere of suspense around these crazy, these uh, these alien-ish creatures, and it just, you know, it doesn't work. And when you're trying to do an atmospheric movie that doesn't work, uh, if the atmosphere isn't there, then you're really in a bad spot. Uh, yeah, this one, this, I can't, I'm not going to recommend this one at all. It's, uh, I think maybe see some clips of it to, as long as you know that there's a bunch of, you know, flashing bullets in darkness, that's most of the movie. That's easily most of the movie. Uh, so I think that's all you need to know about this. Uh, the plot is totally forgettable. Um, something about secret societies and... Yeah. So, don't watch it. It doesn't matter. No one should care. Unless you really just want to watch every Uva Bowl movie, which I, you know, salute you, because I'm not doing that yet. So don't watch it, unless you want to.